What is up everybody? I just want to make a quick video here um, and talk about how Christians should respond to mass shootings, mass tragedies in the world. Now, first and foremost, I think we need to acknowledge and realize the fact that things are going to get much, much worse. The world is not going to get better. The world is not going to get more good, more righteous, more true. It's going to get darker and darker and darker. The Bible says that in the last days, that wickedness would drastically increase. And because of this wickedness, the love of many would grow cold. And you see that happening all around us, all the hatred, all the division, all the, all the just mass anger seething about things that happen. And there's nothing we can do about it. It is said, it is written, it is going to happen. We live in a society, in a culture that says up is down, that right is left, that good is evil, evil is good. And then we're shocked when our society reflects the hearts of the citizens that live in it. We live in an evil place, a place that rejects absolute truth, rejects objective morality. That is where we live. That is our world. We need to acknowledge it and stop trying to fix it with things that don't matter and are going to be ineffective. We live in a world and in a country, in a society that has zero value for human life. Abortion up to nine months, abortion on demand, abortion because the inf uh, the maternal mortality rate is 0 0.0001 percent. Abortion because you live in poverty. Abortion because there's no guaranteed maternity leave. leave. We live in a society that doesn't value life. So don't be shocked, Christian, Christ follower. Don't virtue signal. Talk about gun control. Talk about all these stupid things that don't matter. What matters is the truth. And as Christians, this is what we need to do. Number one, stand in boldness, boldly stand for objective reality, objective truth, and objective morality. Do not blink. Do not stand by while people say a man can be a woman, a man can get pregnant, a woman can be a man, that uh, all these stupid things. We need to stop being cowardly and letting the culture dictate what truth is or pervert truth. They are perverting truth. Life begins at conception. That baby is made in the image of God and has value. Don't let these Christians like the ones in Alabama that I talked about the other day, don't let them say that God is on their side. Don't just stand by while evil is taking over. Now, we can't stop it. It's gonna happen. But we need to let our light shine as believers. We are going to be hated. They already hate us. They already hate us. It's not going to get any better. We're already hated. But we cannot be cowardly. The Bible says that the coward will burn at the great white throne judgment. The coward will burn. The people who do not stand up for human life. The people who do not stand up for objective reality. Who stand by and allows 12 year olds to have their genitals mutilated. All these stupid things and that are happening in our world. We should not be shocked that some 18 year old confused kid, some psycho goes on a rampage and murders a bunch of innocent children. Why should we be shocked? Why are we shocked that someone in the United States and in our world doesn't value human life? This is the world and the culture we created. So number one, stand on the truth. Boldly proclaim the truth, objective morality, objective truth. Number two, be unashamed of the gospel. There is no hope in this world without Jesus Christ. I don't care if that makes 
you laugh if you think that's stupid if it's silly oh you just religion is the opium of the masses whatever stupid thing you want to think there is no hope in this world without jesus christ jesus is the light of the world where there is no christ where there is no jesus there is no light there is nothing but darkness and emptiness and nihilism and depression and hopelessness our hope is jesus we need to be unashamed of the gospel, unashamed of the truth, unashamed of the gospel. And just pray and know that God has a remnant of people that he is trying to save. There are going to be people unto the end that reject him and mock him and yell at him. They'll scream to the heavens as the heavens collapse on them. We can't stop that, but there is a remnant of people who God is trying to save. We need to be bold and unashamed of the gospel and unashamed of the truth. Quit virtue signaling, Christian. Quit trying to fit in with the world. Quit trying to get the world to like you. To think, oh, he's such a nice Christian. Oh, he's not, she's not like those other Christians, those judgmental Christians, those hypocritical Christians, blah, blah, blah. Take a stand on the truth and on the gospel. What happened in Texas was a tragedy. It was awful. I have three kids. I couldn't imagine what those parents are feeling, the heartbreak and the sadness and the despair. It's unimaginable. We live in an evil, dark world and it's gonna get darker and let your light shine brighter. God bless.